Sup guys, it's Alex here, and today we have our final game of the Sweet 16 of the 2020 NCAA Tournament being simulated on NCAA Basketball 10. We have 6 seed Penn State who ran through UCLA in the first round and beat Hofstra in the second round versus number 10 Utah State who pulled off the upset over West Virginia in the first round then pulled off the massive upset upsetting the 2 seed Florida State in the second round. The winner of this game will go on to face Maryland in the Elite Eight. Penn State won that NCAA game sim where they ended up winning the actual championship game, which is absolutely crazy. For this game, though, Penn State is an A- minus all around. Utah State is a B+. Plus. This one is pretty even. Let's tip it off. Number six versus number ten. Battle of the States. And of course, Bill, our starting five. As the kids at the point guard position should give us quite a show tonight. I'm looking forward to that matchup as well. As a reminder, whoever wins this game will get updated 2020 rosters for the Elite Eight. The plan of attack is for either team in regards to tempo. This one should be good. Number six, Penn State. Number 10, Utah State. Both teams rocking that dark blue. Let's see what happens. I guess Penn State's the white team, but both teams have that white and dark blue color scheme. Utah State opening it up by winning the tip. Final game of the Sweet 16. Looking down low, Utah State. Will they do a post move? Yep, fade away. Does not connect, though. Penn State is able to corral the rebound. Let's see what Penn State does here on their first possession of the game. A lot of off-ball movement. I'm surprised. Penn State rising for three. Splash! Okay, Penn State opening up that 3-0 lead here early in the ball game. Let's see how Utah State responds. Oh, a little hop step. Contact, but no foul is called. Utah State's coach is saying they're doing a horrible job with the ball reversals. Well, I mean, there's not too much to do here a minute into the ball game. I thought that was a pretty decent drive by Utah State. The shot just didn't connect. And Utah State does get the block, though, here on Penn State. They get a second chance to put some points on the board here. Let's see what they can do. Passing the ball to number 24 at the top of the key. Finding number 35, looking down low. Well, we see another fadeaway. We will by number 21, who is not able to get it to go. Utah State's coach now wants him to start penetrating and kicking. He is giving them mixed messages so far in this game. Maybe that is why they're not able to get anything going on offense so far. Let's see what happens. Penn State for three. Does not connect. Both teams rocking that bounce pace of offense. So far, the tempo is matching that so far. And Penn State is able to get it, or not Penn State, Utah State is able to get the lucky roll to fall. Three to two now. Let's see how Penn State responds. Will they be able to make their second shot of the game? So far, they've shot a lot of three-pointers. Looking down low to number 22. Rises, fires, but does not connect. Penn State's coach now is getting mad, saying that he wants to see some back cuts. Just under three minutes to go here in the first half. Pretty evenly matched so far. Utah State, a little hop step, does not connect. Penn State getting the rebound. This one has been kind of an ugly start to the game, not going to lie. Especially when we saw that Houston-Wisconsin game in the last video. That was so great. Looking down low to number 22 who's driving. Hook shot does not connect. He hits the ground. Maybe a foul call there. Maybe it was on momentum. Either way, he misses the shot. Utah State gets the rebound. Looking to take the lead here with just over two minutes to go in the game. Looking down low, finding number 42. Who gives Utah State the lead? They are now up 4-3. to three. That's what Utah State's coach is wanting to see. Penn State has not scored in over two minutes. It was their only made shot of the game so far. Looking down low, finding number 15. Reverse layup gets rejected by Utah State. Penn State's winning hard cuts to the hoop, which I thought was that play right there. I guess not. It got rejected. Let's see what Utah State does here. Will they be able to extend their lead? Fade away. Does not connect. Utah State's coach is okay with that, though. He wants to stick with the game plan. Let's see what Penn State does here. 
out on the three-point line. Good spacing so far, but not a whole lot off ball movement. Now we see number 10 going along the baseline. He rises, fires, but does not connect. Penn State has now gone over three minutes without scoring. Ugly game so far, only four to three with just over a minute to go. Utah State driving, and they get it to fall. Six to three now. Tempo is starting to move back up to the up-tempo style. Let's see if Penn State can actually make a basket here. Both teams with five rebounds so far. That's just because there's been so many missed shots. I mean, three for nine and one for six. Combined, four for 15. Not looking so good so far. Number 10, finding 15, who rises, fires, and misses the shot again. What is that, one for seven now for Penn State? Utah State looking to drive. Contact, but no foul is called. Penn State's able to corral the rebound. Now that's three for 10 for Utah State. Penn State's coach wants them to get a quick two for one. It is not going to happen, though. We are now under 35 seconds to go. He's saying they're doing too much standing around, which I'm going to agree with. Not a whole lot of movement right now. Using a little bit of a pick there. Maybe a moving screen. The refs aren't going to call anything. Penn State now heading to the line. They'll have to get their points the hard way, which, I mean, I guess that's the easy way considering how they've been shooting so far in this game. Let's see what the freshman does here. This would be his last game regardless since I'm going to be updating the rosters through 2020 if Penn State was able to win this game. They knock it down. Whoosh. They cut the lead to one. It has been an ugly first half. I am not going to lie at all. Now Penn State trapping Utah State in the backcourt, looking to get the ball across half court. They do. They are able to do so. Let's see if Utah State can extend their lead here before the half ends. Pulling it back out for a three, maybe. Looking down to 21 at the free throw line. Rises, fires, but does not connect. But they get the offensive rebound, and they are able to put it in. Penn State is not going to be able to get a shot off. Utah State heading into the half with an 8-5 to five lead. Penn State only shooting 14%. That is horrible. Let's see if Penn State can actually get something going here in the second half. Utah State's been able to hold the lead so far. Now they are talking it over before they go back out there. Who wants a trip to face Maryland in the Elite Eight? Let's find out. Utah State has done a good job spacing out their points. Four players have all scored two points apiece. Looking now low to number 15. Who lays it in for Penn State? I guess the halftime speech ended up working for them. They cut the lead to one. It is now eight to seven. Let's see what Utah State does here on their first possession of the second half. Will they be able to get a bucket? Looking to drive. Penn State switches here on the pick and roll. Rising, firing. And not making it Penn State now getting a chance to get their, I, I don't even know what lead of the game it is. But either way, they will take the lead if they get a basket here. Let's see what they do. Off ball pick and roll over there working with number 22 and 15. They look to number 15 who looks to number 22. Rises, fires, but it gets rejected and a late foul call. Is he heading to the line? Yes, he will. I couldn't tell if that was going to be an on the floor foul or not. Referee blowing the whistle late on that one. Gets the first free throw to go to tie it up here at eight with just over four minutes to go in the game. And he gets the second one to go. Penn State finally gets the lead back. They are now up nine to eight. Utah State getting trapped up top by Penn State. Let's see what they can do here on offense. Finding number 54 at the wing, or at the elbow, whatever you want to call it. Looking down low. Actually, no, he's going to keep it himself, dribbling back out. 
Resetting the offense here. 10 seconds to go on the shot clock using the entire possession. Pick and roll though with number 21. Hop, pulling up, okay. But he was being selfish on that possession. He just rose up. Not what Utah State's coach was looking for on that possession. Almost two minutes to go here in the second half. Utah State still has not scored. A little spin move by Penn State. Does not connect, but he gets his own rebound and misses. Penn State gets the rebound again, and they are not able to get it to go. That is going to negatively affect their field goal percentage even more. Utah State now with a chance to get that lead back with a made shot. They have not scored in the second half. They haven't scored in two minutes, as you can see. Looking down low, and they their scoreless streak is going to continue. They turn the ball over to Penn State. Let's see what Penn State does here on offense. For three. Does not connect because, of course, it's not going to connect this game. This has been so low scoring. It's been the complete opposite of that Houston-Wisconsin game from the last one. Looking down low to number 21. Who gets the layup to fall? 10 to 9 now. Working that pick and roll up top. Driving. Contact, but no foul is called. But either way, Penn State gets the rebound, and put, they put it back in. It is now 11 to 10. Let's see how Utah State responds. Will they be able to get the lead back, or will Penn State get a stop here to maybe make a run? Will spin move action? And it does not connect, though. He does not get the lucky bounce. Penn State gets the defensive stop. Under two minutes to go now in this ballgame. Let's see who's going to move on to the Elite Eight. Penn State driving, and they get the layup to go. 13 to 10 now. Penn State taking the three-point lead, but it is still only a one-possession game. Utah State can tie it up with a three. And they pull up for three. And they do not get it. It goes in and out. Penn State pushing the ball up the floor in transition, finding the big guy who loses the ball. Utah State able to get the steal here. Just over a minute to go here in the second half. Penn State slapping the floor. They want to get a defensive stop. Looking down low at 54. Rises, fires, but misses. A weird animation there. Like the third guy back ended up getting the rebound. Both teams have been shooting horrible in this game. I mean, it's 13 to 10 with a minute to go in the game. Penn State rising, firing, but missing. Penn State shooting 4 of 17 now. Utah State shooting 5 of 17, combining for 10 of 34 shooting total. What a horrible offensive performance, but it has given us a good game, or at least a tight game. Utah State looking down low. They get it to go. Bringing it two within one here with about 45 seconds to go. Will Penn State take a three or maybe even four point lead here? Looking down low. Number 12 drawing the foul and one. Penn State now with a chance to make this a two-possession game. Their fans are going crazy in the background, as you can see over there. But he misses the free throw. It is still a one-possession game because, of course, it is. 15-12. to 12. Let's see what Utah State does here. You need points regardless. You want the three, but you'll take the two. Let's see what they do. Looking for three in the tie. Splash! Utah State ties it up at 15 20 seconds to go here in the last game of the Sweet 16 with a spot in the Elite Eight on the line. Penn State driving. Will they save it for the final shot? 10 seconds to go. 7, 6, 5, number 23 driving. Contact, no foul is called though. Utah State gets the rebound. 2.2 seconds left, which means they're probably going to shoot a half-court shot and probably mean that we're going to get overtime. Let's see what they draw up here in this timeout. So here is the final shot. Utah State looking to get the half court heave for the win. And it hits the front end of the rim. So we are going to overtime. So here we go. Five more minutes of this game. Of course, NCAA Basketball 10 picks this game to go into overtime and not that Houston, Wisconsin one. And a blocking foul on Utah State to start off this overtime period. Grant Franklin leading Utah State in scoring so far with six points. Let's see what Penn State does here with the inbounds play. Looking to number 12, who gets the lay-in. Easy money there. Game trend so far. The biggest lead of this game has been three points. Six lead changes, two ties. Let's see how Utah State responds. We have a third half of basketball here in overtime. On the outside. Now, this is what you call a tough place to play. The crowd is 
Looking down low to number 54, rises, fires, but does not connect. Penn State gets the defensive stop. Let's see if they can extend this lead to two possessions. Driving down low and slamming it home. Posterizing Utah State on that drive. Penn State now jumping out to the 19 to 15 lead. Let's see what Utah State does here. Can they respond? Off ball movement, looking for a three maybe. Utah State rises, does not knock it down, but they get the offensive rebound rising up and they bring it back to within two points here, 19 to 17. Under four minutes to go in the overtime period. Penn State moving the ball around on the three-point line. Pulling up for a deep two, and he gets fouled, and one. I don't know why Utah State's been fouling all these jump shots. Penn State now with a chance to extend this to a five-point lead. And he gets it to go. Penn State now up 22-17. to 17. Penn State may end up, and they get the steal here. Now they're driving and going to the line again, and an and one. What is going on here in overtime with Penn State? Penn State's going to score more in overtime than they did in the entire, like, regulation. And he knocks down the free throw. Eight-point game now. Penn State jumping out to 25-17. to and they're trapping Utah State back there. Penn State opening up on a 10-2 run here in overtime. Looking down low to number 54. Who gets fouled? Because, of course, this game is going to get extended even further. This video is probably going to be something like 25 minutes or something. Utah State now at the line. Misses the front end, though. Free throws are apparently not what Utah State is good at. 324 left to go in the ball game. Gets the second one to go though to bring it to within seven. Let's see what you or what if Utah State can get a stop here. They're trapping Penn State in the backcourt. Penn State trying to escape and they do. They're able to get it across the half court line. Finding number 15. Who gets the easy basket? Somebody left their man open there. Penn State opens it back up to a nine-point lead. So Penn State scoring 15 points in regulation, already having 12 here in overtime. This has been a completely different team. Utah State just trying to get a three off. They get the offensive rebound, though, and they put it back in. And the man hits the four. No foul is called. Under three minutes to go now in overtime. Penn State working the ball around on the perimeter. Looking down low, finding number 23, who somehow is able to get that ball. There were two defenders near him, but they open the lead back up to nine. Penn State now with 14 points in overtime. This is a completely different Penn State team than we saw in regulation. And Utah State misses their shot. It's looking like Penn State is just going to run away with it at this point. Looking down low, finding number 22 who rises, and now Penn State has scored more in th almost three, or I guess, yeah, three minutes of overtime than they did in 10 minutes of regulation. This has been crazy here in overtime. Penn State up by 11. Looking down low, and they almost get the steal, but it goes out of bounds. Looking down low, and Penn State does get the steal. What is going on here? Penn State rising, firing, and they knock it down. Opening up a 13-point lead now in overtime. They've scored 18 points in overtime. Utah State now trying to work the pick and roll. It looks like it's going to be futile, though. Utah State misses the, <laughs> just the layup. Penn State looking to extend this lead even further. Fans are chanting for Penn State to start warming up the bus. They are ready to go home, and they throw out of bounds. Give that guy a map. Where is he going? Now they're subbing out <laughs> four other five players. They know it's over. Fans are still chanting to warm up the bus. Utah State for three does not connect. Penn State gets the rebound now. It's just a matter of if Utah State's going to foul late in the game. 
I hope they don't because I'm ready for this game to be over and to get into the Elite Eight. So there are the fouls. I'm just going to keep it running, though, at this point because we're probably close to the one and one anyway. Finding Penn State up there. Now they get the foul again. 18 rebounds for Penn State in this game. And yet now they're at the one and one. Let's see how they do. Somehow Penn State has gotten their field goal percentage up to 48%. They knock down the first one. 34 to 20 now. Croyle now has 13 points in this ballgame. And they knock down the second one. It is now 35 to 20. Will Penn State get the steal too? And they do get the steal. Looking down low to number 41. Contact there, but no fouls called. He gets his own offensive rebound anyway and puts it in. 37 to 20 now. Penn State has now gotten 22 points in the overtime. That's more than Utah State has in almost 15 minutes of action. Let's see if Utah State, and they, of course, they turn the ball over, just making matters worse for Utah State. Please tell me they're not going to foul Penn State here. Yeah, they're just going to play it out. Penn State can just dribble this one out. They are going to walk out of here with maybe a 19, nope, a 17-point lead so far. Let's see what Utah State does here. They haven't scored in almost two and a half minutes. They are not going to score on this possession either. What a performance here by Penn State in overtime. Completely different than they played in regulation. About 20 seconds to go now in the ball game. Passing it back out. Maybe a three by Croyle. No, it looks like he's just going to hold on to it. Penn State is moving on to the Elite Eight to face Maryland. Penn State could end up winning the championship like they did on that simulating the 2020 tournament video that I did. So there we have it. It's crazy that this game went into overtime when you consider the final score was decided by 17 points. Heartbreak for, I, actually I don't know if it'd be heartbreak. I mean, Utah State did force overtime, but they just completely sucked there in the main. Near an overtime, Penn State racing and scoring 22 points in overtime. So Penn State will be getting an updated 2020 roster. They will face number four, Maryland, in the Elite Eight. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you all in the Elite Eight.